What's up guys and welcome back to another video. Today's video we're looking at New Zealand rugby players that are apparently unhappy with All Black coach, they said Springbok coach, All Black coach Ian Foster. Now there's a lot of mixed reactions if you talk to New Zealand subscribers who chat to me on streams or chat to me in, in, on social media. There's a mixed vibe because it was uh, Ian Foster who was obviously under Steve Hansen, Steve Hansen, the history, the, the remarkable things he did with the All Blacks was great. Um, then you got on the other side, the Crusaders coach, which is Scott Robinson, who's done remarkable things with the Crusaders, winning the championship and just generally coming into the rugby world with a lot of knowledge and experience, but also just taking the all bus um, by surprise in a good way. Um, when you watch coaches, you don't often see blokes stand out as much as what Scott Robinson has stood out for me. And this is coming from an, an outsider, South Africa's point of view. Scott Robinson stood out for me out of all the New Zealand coaches in Super Rugby. And um, why he stood out was just the personality, the people side of him. He seems to have a great bond with his coaches, etc., etc. And for me, I was going for him as the next coach. Ian Foster... You know, you could say age is a, a thing here and there, but generally the, the 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 vibe or atmosphere hasn't always been quite positive towards Ian Foster, which is unfortunate for him because he has obviously been around and he knows the players are, are, who have produced a good sport in New Zealand. But um, obviously um, with them not going all the way in the World Cup, maybe they wanted a new change um, after Hansen's success and now bringing something new, fresh, young, and take them to another level with a whole new leadership story. Because even the Sam Kane talk, not everyone's 100% on him as a leader. There's still talks of Artie Savia. There's still talks of Sam Whitelock. There's still talks of Scott Barrett, maybe. There's still talks of why not Aaron Smith. There's, there's a lot of questions that are being asked, even by New Zealand fans. So a radio station in New Zealand um, did a poll. And uh, of, apparently of more than 100 players, uh, responded to the radio station and this was obviously done anonymously as well so we can't actually pinpoint who these guys were but it says New Zealand's top rugby players are not happy with the new coach um, and um, the setup according to the, the uh, poll that was released on Monday One of more than 100 players responded to the radio station 72% had the same problem with the Ian Foster led setup while well, Foster himself had some support, almost half of the top flight players, 46% believed New Zealand rugby got the entire panel wrong, while another 26% were happy with Foster, but not his assistants. Um, New Zealand rugby opted for the former All Black, as we know, over Scott, um, Scott Robinson, and uh, things were led. Um, he retained after the loss to England in the semi-finals. He retained Scott McLeod and brought in John Plumtree, who we all know has been around hurricanes, the sharks, overseas, and generally quite well respected um, from my thought. I, I've always rated him quite highly. Um, I think he's a, he's a good coach. He did a lot of things with the sharks. So um, from that point of view. So country radio producer Sam Casey, who conducted the poll, said he asked more than 100 players, including at least 15 um, from each New Ze of New Zealand's five Super Rugby clubs to reply anonymously to um, to the question of who's the best for a professional coach uh, you have had. Japan and Highlanders assistant coach uh, Tony Brown pipped Robertson, however, with 17% support, while former Hurricanes and now Wallabies coach Dave really tied with Warren Gatlin for third on 9%. And Warren Gatlin's been getting a lot of flack because of the old chief story which I think is unnecessary. I think he's got to rebuild and you've got to give him time. And then Bowden Barrett was viewed by his peers as the best player in New Zealand, although favoured um, as a fly half and not a fullback. And I think a lot of us would agree with that uh, opinion. So interesting stats coming out of here. Tony Brown who's pipped uh, Robertson with 17% support. And then Dave Rennie coming in there um, with Warren Gatlin. And I think a lot of people also thought at one stage Warren Gatlin would be a possible selection for the All Blacks, but then we obviously know when he did an interview with the 1014 Rugby, he said he wanted to just go back to New Zealand, which is clearly done. Um, but he hasn't really shown any hint or interest in coaching the All Blacks in the future. I think he's actually said no um, on one or two occasions. So we'll have to wait and see what happens. I would have probably gone with Gatlin 
if he was in this contention, but when it went to the whole point of Ian Foster versus Scott Robinson, I went for Scott Robinson, and I still feel he should be an all-black coach in the future and could offer. The question, obviously, I leave to you guys over in New Zealand is, what's your thought? Who would you go? Scott, should we just, to me personally, Ian Foster's been selected. He is your coach, whether we like it or not. And um, I think a, a chance should be given to him because we don't know what he's going to do. We don't know if he's going to change things up or keep things similar to the way Steve Hansen had it. So it's going to be an interesting time for us to witness um, this type of f- format of all black rugby and the next generation of where they are going to go. So I think it's going to be an interesting factor. But um, it's definitely spoken about New Zealand players not happy with the new all blacks coach. So let's wait and see what happens going forward but do let me know your thoughts in the comments section down below that's going to do it for today's video i hope you enjoyed it give it a thumbs up subscribe if you are new and i'll see you real soon for now and stay safe and never give up cheers